the expense of spirit in a waste of shame is lust in action. And till action, lust is perjured, murderous, bloody, full of blame, savage, extreme, rude, cruel, and not to trust. In the words of Shakespeare. Good evening and a happy Valentine's Day. My name is Helen Statman and I'm from Coco Loco Performance. Tonight we're going to be investigating the phenomenon of lust. What drives us to such absurd behaviour as being caught in an alleyway with our pants around our ankles? Why do we wait outside someone's window just to catch a glimpse of their shadow in the night? Or why do we, well, mostly naughty boys, trawl through hundreds of pornographic images just to find the one which will do the trick. We're not talking about love here. Love is when your heart flutters. We're talking about lust. Lust is when your groin twitches. <laughs> just saying the word turns me on. Lust. Lust. Oh, it's got an uh and a it's all about intense sexual desire. It's about a passionate craving, a gut-wrenching yearning. It's a craving for something or someone which must be answered, and it's often something which is way out of our reach. Lust is traditionally the fifth deadly sin that comes between pride and envy. And tonight, we are very privileged to have two scientists, two professors of lust. Bill von Hippel, a social psychologist, and Robert Brooks, an evolutionary biologist. <laughs> now, the evening is going to be divided into two presentations, and there'll be a loo and a drinks break in the middle. But obviously, you can often go to the bar whenever you need to, and also to the loo. Um, and there will be an opportunity for you to put your questions to our experts at the end. Uh, and we should be over at around 7.30. But I don't want you to expect just to be able to sit back and watch. No, no, no. This is going to be an interactive evening. So don't be cowardly. Don't be shy. Try not to be a party pooper or, heaven forbid, anti-science. Just join in and have a laugh. You might even bump into somebody you find irresistibly attractive. You might find your cheeks are burning, your heart's pounding, and there's a heavy, melting feeling below the waist. You might experience such violent desire that you can hardly breathe. I'm not promising you that. I'm not promising you that. But you never know. Oh, yes, tonight in this group lust in, we're going to explore charisma, attractiveness, and magnetism. We're going to find out how it is measured and how it is rated. Now, when you all arrived, you should have been given a clicker pad. Does anyone not have a clicker pad? Excellent. Oh, you don't have one? Um, could we get a clicker pad to these people down here, please? Thank you very much. The table by the uh, pillar. Now, before we meet our scientists of lust, I'd like you all to do something. I'd like you to do something for me. I'd like you to all Turn to somebody that you don't know and just introduce yourselves. I'm not talking about your life stories. I'm not tongues, not yet. <laughs> just introduce yourselves for 30 seconds. Off you go. Go on. Somebody you don't know. If only we could just do that on the bus on the way to work. Okay, if I could have your concentration, I know that you're already finding yourselves amazingly attractive. Um, wonderful. So, to get on with the evening. <laughs> 